Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about, oh, Daniel Happy. This, this is what we're talking about today. The, I love, I love cell phones. You guys know this if you've watched very many. I love technology and of all cell phones, my favorite kind of cell phone are the Nexuses. That is Google's design phone. Google makes the phone the way they think it should be done. It's spectacular, it's awesome, and I love it. But this time I was worried. I was worried more than I had with any other Nexus device. My last three devices that I've carried, well two devices I've carried as personal devices have been Nexuses. And I was so excited to get my hands on the Nexus 6, but what worried me was that it has a six inch screen. Well, that's a big screen. I have a, I have a, I have a big hand. It's huge, this phone. It's gigantic, ginormous. And so I was worried. I, I held it the first time. I was like, whew, I don't know if I could really wield that bad boy all the time. But luckily, I got my hands on it to test it out for a full week and see if I really could carry this as my personal device. And we're going to find out if it could be for you, too. The Nexus features the top-end specs, the best specs it's ever actually had on a Nexus. It is a top-tier device featuring a Snapdragon 805 processor. It's It's got a 2K display that's got like 495 PPI, if I'm correct, and it is gorgeous. It's actually probably one of my favorite displays I've seen yet on a phone. I got my hands on the Galaxy S6, so and that was really beautiful, so I really would have to compare them to give you an honest answer on that front, but whoa, it's pretty. It's got a deep display, and the speakers Oh, folks, the speakers on this display, uh, on the wall on this phone, are awesome. I mean, literally at times, it literally felt like you were wearing headphones because it projects it on both sides because it's got two front-facing speakers directly into your ears. And I was just like, whoo, I like it, I like it, and I want some more of it. I carry this device, I'm telling you what, right now, if I picked up all the phones I've tested, and I'm telling you, even the Galaxy Assist, I got my six, I got my hands on, this device would probably be my daily driver, the phone I would want to carry day in and day out. It is awesome. The, the active display is really cool in that as you move it, which it's not going to do it now because, you know, I want it to, but it basically glows when you get a text message in place of an LED, which is cool. Um, camera quality is really good. I recorded my last blog, which I'll link down below. It, on this camera, it's a little shaky because my wife is holding it the entire time and her arms got very tired. Um, but we wanted to test the camera. I thought it'd be cool because it shoots in 4K. And we tell you what, it looked good. It looked real good. Um, the, the mic was actually pretty good too. Not as loud as say, the mic I have on my camera here, obviously, but pretty well baked in. Um, the flash is built around the outside of the, of the camera, which is another cool feature. But this profile on this phone is so... So nice. I really enjoyed it. It fits so comfortably in your hand and everything I did with it, it just, I enjoyed it. The screen for me, I have big hands, like I said, didn't, wasn't overbearing. I do feel like if you're a small phone user and you've never had a big phone, be very careful of the Nexus 6 or the Notes or any of these phablet sized phones because the thing is, they sometimes are fun at first and you're like, oh, this is really cool. But as you carry them for some people and a lot of people, they wear you down because they are so big all the time. So what I challenge you, if you want to do it, try it out. Go to the store, hold it in your hand. If you have a friend, let them use it there. And really think about, could I carry this for two years? Because most of the time, you're not going to want to go spend $700 off contract for one of these bad boys. But if you do, you're going to want to make sure that you really want it for the long haul because it's a lot of money to put out and a lot of time. So the Nexus 6 has beautiful camera performance. Low light was good. Everything I did with it, it performed up to spec for me at least. Um, Nexus cameras have always kind of been the downfall, but I, I really didn't have any complaints about this one at all. Uh, like I said, the screen was beautiful. Speed was great. I love me some stock Android. This is running Jelly Bean, or Jelly Bean, good grief, Lollipop. And so I love me some Lollipop and loving it running so fast on this phone. It's incredible. Google always does a spectacular job. They make their phones completely from front end to back end designed for the software and that always works best that's why apple does so well with reduced specs and that's why this phone is kicking everybody's butt in my opinion right now because it's awesome um you know as far as where it compares with everything else i'm gonna give this phone like an 8.5 on my scale because it's awesome i enjoyed every minute of it i really don't have any big complaints the only complaint i can really come at which is a big one for a lot of people is battery battery in this phone's not spectacular it's got a huge bright screen with a ton of pixels it's six inches well you know it's six inches and every square inch of that has almost 500 pixels in it that are being powered all the time so the battery does get depleted by midday you're down to 
you know, below 50%, which still lasts you until I got home, used about five or six o'clock, and then about seven o'clock or eight o'clock, I'm putting it on the charger. But luckily, if you get home and you're having some issues, this has an awesome feature built in, which is fast charging. And that is that you can plug it in, you plug it in, and for and 15 minutes time, it charges it almost all the way up so that you end up with like 50%. And within a couple hours, I usually was almost fully charged, which is spectacular and totally makes it okay for me because if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, I know I can plug it in real quick. And by the time I get ready to go, I'm just getting dressed or something, I'm going to have at least a good amount of charge to get me through whatever I'm going to do, hopefully. So with that said, the phone is awesome. I would definitely consider it, but the only whoa is watch out for that screen because whoo, it is big. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite smartphone right now? Is it the Nexus 6? Maybe you're totally a Galaxy fan and you're ready for that S6 to come out, or maybe you're just scared because that, that non-removable battery and no expandable storage, which this one has too, non-removable and no expandable storage. But let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking. Please, as always, subscribe, like, and everything else, folks, because it means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. God bless. I want to take a moment to thank the amazing folks over at Wireless Trends. You know, Wireless Trends does something really, really cool. The day we were talking about signing a two-year contract for your phone, it's actually way more expensive when you do that because you have to pay for your phone over the life of your two years. And so what you end up doing is paying for a lot more than if you went and just bought that phone outright. Wireless Trends gives you that opportunity to buy and sell used phones. So say you have the HTC One M8 and you want to upgrade to the M9. Now you have this piece of hardware that you're just going to throw into a drawer. Well, what you do is you come into Wireless Trends, you get a better deal than if you go to the carrier and buy it, and we're going to purchase your other phone from you more than likely. And then what you get is you get money off your new device, you walk out the door with a beautiful device, and you can get accessories, everything you need there. And whenever something happens to that phone and you need it repaired, they're on your side too. Wireless Trends is an amazing place to go and get the best deal for you and your family. So make sure when you're in the, in the, in the market for a new cell phone, Check out Wireless Trends because they will take care of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go to Wireless Trends Facebook page and give them a like and whatever else. Um, they're so great to let us use all these devices. They're spectacular and we're so grateful for them. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and we'll see you next video.